think I'm at the right place. Maria. Hi. It's so good to see Yay. you. We meet again. Yes. Welcome oh. to my home. Wow. My labor of love. I mean, I saw the before pictures. I can't believe this is the same place. Yeah, baby, I'm a ride or die. Two seats keep it super. Love the herringbone floor. I love it too. Thank so you. beautiful. Yeah. That looks amazing. It's beautiful. Thank I love you. the color. And then with the black around the openings. Were these like these? Were these no, arched? No. Pretty much everything has been touched. Really? Altered, changed. Uh, but yeah, there were no uh, casings around these doorways. Do you remember the paint color? People always want to know the oh, paint colors. Oh, my favorites, I use them over and over again, is Sherwin-Williams Iron Ore. Iron Ore for the archway. Yes. And what's the main white paint color? Well, this time I softened it from Alabaster and Greek Villa, which are very white. I softened it to Chantilly Lace. Tell me you love me. This is a fresh tree, what kind? These are amazing. This is called a lady olive. Aren't they stunning? I asked my plant service, who I've known you were have good a friends. plant service, which I love. Yeah, and, yeah, I and I've too. had Pedro for 20 years, and he's just part of the family. Um, and I said, Pedro, I want something just unique, delicate, almost like a Ming tree, but just something no one's seen before. And I just want it to be simple. Oh, there are your, your oh, peeps. My signatures. Yeah, I remember this in the home that we viewed a year ago at this time. So let me give this video a proper introduction. I'm Rebecca, thanks for coming back to my channel today. And this is my friend Maria Berry. She lives here in San Diego and she is also an interior designer and owns a fabulous furniture store, furniture, art, accessories, everything. But we toured one of her homes last year. That was a home that they bought and sold. The whole purpose was to yes. flip it. I love Maria's taste. You guys know that you used to watch my reveal videos and I don't do those very often anymore. So this is someone who I endorse her taste, her vision and her talent. So let's have fun today. Love you. <laughs> I love you too. And take a look at this home. And then after you watch this video, you should go watch that one as well. Yes. But she had a pair of these sitting to the side on the fireplace. And yeah. apparently it's your signature. Yeah. Kind of I love, your thing. I love these. And I every house I remodel as a flip, or this happens to be my own home, I put them in, I just think they're gorgeous. And I think I that too. they just make a statement. And I sell these at my shop, La Demora. I actually brought them into the store and thought I must have these. Right. Yes. And you probably a lot of what we're gonna see, I'm imagining everything we're gonna see in the way of furnishings for the most part is from your store. Absolutely. Yeah, um, so that's good to yeah. know. We'll put a link in the description box below. This is a beautiful fireplace, but this did not look like this before. This is natural limestone. Um, I love limestone. I think it's just classic and beautiful. So irregular, you know, you get a little fossil here and there and you get a clean spot, but it's just, very natural to me. I don't think I've actually seen this before where you've got a floating shelf that could actually act as a bench. Yes. But it can also act as a credenza or a tabletop. And it's like in the middle. Well, I really thing. needed to fill these sections. Yeah. Um, it's, you know, living rooms are, you know, hardly used rooms in, in some of the homes in this area. Yeah. And it's so voluminous. I needed to warm it up. And instead of sticking another piece of furniture here, right. another one here, another one here, I thought, let me do something again, more architectural. That is the smallest grand piano I've ever seen. It's that's just a, a that's baby. It's a baby baby. It's a baby. It's a five footer. That's five feet? I'm a five footer as well. If I lay it on top of that, <laughs> my feet and my, no, that's not five feet. That is five <clears throat> feet. Okay, here, promise. <laughs> I'm five feet. Let's see. How far do my feet come out? Almost even. 
Oh it, God! It's five feet. I I'm promise. five three. Okay. So, wow. Well, maybe it's just the way you have it <laughs> positioned under here or in this Get corner. Get out of there. You want to see my favorite thing in this room? Yes. I love my new doors. I, put I do in too. New so doors. I love the gold on yeah. these. I mix the gold. Open them like this. Man, that them. is fancy. Feel the weight of this. This is beefy. Wow. And then this is stationary. Yes. That was smart. Yes. yes. Most people would put side lights and have a door, double doors in the middle. But I, I love this because your yeah. view is Yeah, unexpected. and I didn't want to have them come in and, and, and block anything or go out and block anything. Plus, if your Christmas tree goes here, My tree. there's that. You can always get outside. Beautiful backyard Thank and the trees. You. and I a, really love it here. A jacuzzi. So pretty. It's, it is really pretty. This I love it. This time I finally did a house for myself. So before we leave this room, there's a couple things that really stand out to me that I love. Okay. One of them is this lamp. I know. Amazing. I think that is a beautiful lamp. Isn't it it's stunning? It's got to be from your store. From Lady Mora. Yeah. Yes. And mm -hmm. I just, I love how the light shoots up. I don't think I've ever seen that happen on any of my lamps. Where okay. The light shoots up on the finial. Isn't it ingenious, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It really is. And the other ingenious thing <laughs> you were just saying to me is this, she's using this as a tray. Is that brilliant? <laughs> Guys, think about how many framed pieces of art you have in your house that are in a closet that you're not using, that you could do something like that. I think that is brilliant. Isn't that great? And it's black, and it's got the burnished gold edges. I mean, it just ties all this stuff in with your artwork, oh, with your little you. grouping over there. One little touch of animal print in every room, I think is amazing. You've heard it here first. I think Maria is really good at deciding what to keep and what to get rid of. Mm -hmm. So obviously she wanted these two doors to be new and special, but she kept the existing windows and just painted them the same iron ore, iron is that what it's ore. called? Yeah. Iron ore, mm -hmm. which goes so perfectly with the doors. What about this big fella? I'm going to guess, is it 48 inches? Uh, Do you remember? 60 inches. Is it? 60 inches. It looks smaller because it's way up yeah, there, it's but high. it's uh, five feet. Everything's five feet today. Yes. yes. Hey, this could just <laughs> fit on <laughs> underneath the piano. Yeah. Maybe not. But did you add the wood in that little? I did. I added the wood in the ceiling. ceiling. Yes. I love yeah. that. I love doing things like that. Just, I do too. It's so three dimensional. It, and it also kind of brings this all together because that's pretty high up. Let's go to the dining room. Okay. I love your artwork. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, wow. This looks beautiful. Oh, the window treatments. Hello, I got that control. Welcome to my show. Here we go. This is my favorite light fixture. Is was, it? Yeah. Have is you that, used it before? No, it's brand new. I saw it at a furniture show recently and I could not stop. Oh, thinking wow. About it really it. is beautiful. <laughs> I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I can see. The metal, it's just a painted gold leaf. Yeah, it's beautiful. And it's just unique, isn't it? It's yeah. very different. It, and I just couldn't It has almost an underwater feel. But let me tell you about this armoire because okay. about four weeks ago, this armoire was dark brownish red. I just did not want to uh, replace it, and I wanted to make sure that I could use it in my new color scheme. So you had it antiqued. This I is had an it antique finish. So painted. Yeah. So you see the color inside? That that was the color of the entire the deepest, wow. darkest color was the entire piece. And I just couldn't use that in this house. Right. So refinishing this was just an idea and I had them do a sample and it looked great. So you're gonna see throughout the house yeah. Point out where I did those. And all of the things. doors in the house were also orange, orangish red. Oh my gosh. That is something I've always wanted is oh. a refrigerated wine cellar. I know. But to be able to see that from the entry, oh my gosh. What did this look like before? Well, I couldn't get that old cabinet out fast enough. <laughs> 
It you was... didn't want to just paint it oh, and gosh, antique no. it? No, I like to save things, but that <sighs> was beyond saving. Yeah, yeah. So I made it three-sided and we did have some existing posts. So I had the oh, metal yeah. worker wrap them with the sheet metal. Yeah. And they are structural yet they look decorative. And then the entrance to it is adjacent this bar. Was this bar here before? There was a bar here, but it was not this configuration. And now, hello. Yeah, yeah, it looks almost like a tunnel. Is this alabaster? Is it that quartzite again? Yes, it's the quartzite again, Cristallo. And yes, it's, and you can light it from underneath. You can light it from underneath. Yes. I mean, that is just such, it's and stunning. I, I waterfalled the edge yes. so I can get more of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, and then this is a entrance this way. You have access to all your wine and mm -hmm. it is temperature controlled. Yes. For the, this is all red. All the red, yes. That's my kind of wine Thank room. I love the reds. <laughs> Just watch me now. And then, hello, oh, okay. the family room. Is that one of those, is it 100 inches wide? What's the, what's the? No. 100 inches. Is it 100 inch? Look she at, has a I can rainbow. Linear fireplace. Now, was this here before, oh, this gosh, fireplace? No. no, this was really different. The original firebox was off to the side and yes. there was a built-in to the left. For the t uh, deep tube television. And so I just covered it all over. I just you covered it. You just it. covered it? I just covered it and huh. added this Fireplace, this is actually an appliance. It's only about six to eight inches deep. That is brilliant. Now, I have to be honest with you, I don't know that I would have known to do that. I think I would have said to a construction crew, come in here and rip out the existing fireplace, take me back to drywall, and then I'll add all this. But the way she did it is way more cost efficient. And it looks fantastic. It does. I would never I know that that was behind it. But the ceiling, is this the original ceiling? This is the original ceiling. But was it this color? No, man. So you had it stripped. And now it's the natural, it's, you know, the color of your floors. Yeah. So again, you've taken this area and you've made it look so much more cozy by it. sandwiching it between the warmth of the wood, yes. which brings the ceiling down and the floor up, so to speak. And, and then, then you've got a real mix of pillows here. Tell me about yeah. what, what inspired that. Well, that pillow is from Santorini, one of my favorite um, vacation destinations um, ever. And then the one behind is from Cabo. And I just love the pops of color with all of the white. It gives you freedom, doesn't it? It just mixed everything, you know? It's just yeah. so much fun. I mean, I would never think to put any of these together, but you know what? It's just fun. So she's created this like foundation of off-white. Mm -hmm. Everything is off-white. She has mixed metals, and then she brings in this plethora of different pillows, which makes it comfortable, cozy, it. and it makes it, instead of being sterile, which you think of as an all-white room, yeah. it's actually more come hither. Come on in. <laughs> Get Put your feet here. up. <laughs> so you've created a, a square. A conversational area, and I'm sure you would agree with this, is a U-shape. It's the perfect conversational yes. area. Yes. A sectional sofa is not, unless you complete it with this side. But then when you add these two ottomans here, you've created this perfect square. Oh, she keeps seeing things that aren't perfect yet. I'd, I'd be doing this in the pot. I'd be doing the same thing if it was my home. These are, how does this work? So these are La Cantina doors. Again, I love that company. And they're very simple. You just lift up the lever, push. Even you can do this with one finger if you wanted to. Wow. Isn't that great? Yeah. This is a little battle between my husband and I. How so? He wants to take the fireplace out. Oh no, I love seeing it from to, the family room. I know, to expose a little bit more of you. Uh, but I want to keep it in. I think it's amazing. Yeah. And Should I, I call him and, and weigh please. in? Yeah. Give my vote. Yes. Becky says. I think. What does everyone think? I think we should keep it. Yeah. It's just you so guys, charming. leave us a comment below. Do you think she should keep this, or, or should she go with her husband, which he wants to take it out so he has a better view? Mm -hmm. 
And this is our next project, Rebecca. Really? Uh, we will be eventually resurfacing the stone because the existing house was sort of a pink and a brown and a beige. So yeah. this will be next year's project okay. where we will have a beautiful new light surface out here, a new, yeah. new tile in the pool. Oh, good. You're going to yeah. resurface the inside of the pool. Everything. Yeah, yeah. that will be beautiful. Yeah. All right, I want you to take me and show me your kitchen. Oh, yes. Come on. Yeah. Plate. It's empty. <laughs> she wants to have scones on her cake plate. Do you guys care if she has scones on her cake plate? No. Come on. Why? Because everything else is so fabulous in there. Okay. We've got a great round table here. I'm assuming these are not new windows, or are they? These are not new windows, however. They're painted. They're painted, but they had panes and mullions oh. in them. I had the glass taken out and clear glass yes. inserted. That's a smart connection in your house that I've mm -hmm. seen you do, mm -hmm. is all of the divisions that brought so much busyness, yes. those are the things you change. It doesn't yes. mean you change the frame or the casement around it. They're still case windows, right? But it's clear glass, and that consistency, I think, is nice. And it saved me a whole lot of money, too, just yeah, replace yeah. the glass and yeah. get rid of all of that busyness. Yes. So Hey, quick question, were these beams here? These beams were here. They, uh, they were as well as that. They okay. were all here, and of course I thought they were amazing, but they were red, yes. so we, we, we faux painted those as well. Oh, those are faux painted. Now, and you didn't just strip them? Everything no. has been faux. Everything has been faux. There's no stripping of anything. And I love the way it looks. I do too. That's yeah. a big faux finishing job. Yeah. No wonder yeah. your faux finishing girl was calling you. Yeah. Love your marble or quartzite? What is this? This is quartzite. This is a brand new quartzite called Lux Calcutta or Calcutta Lux. Ah. So normally Calcutta is a marble. Yes. But Calcutta Lux is a quartzite, ah. which makes it stronger. Right. Now you have a um, farmhouse kitchen sink. Yes. Or an apron front, I guess yes. if mm -hmm. you'd call it that, mm -hmm. with a cutting board. Beautiful brass in your fixtures yeah. and um, your Love plumbing. These. But this wall here did not look like this before. This window, it was here. I thought about changing it completely. I simplified it, I painted it, removed all of the cabinetry around it that crowded it and just opened it wide open. I'm a big fan of floating shelves. I am too. And then I put the tile, subway tile, all the way around. Girl, you just took my line. Oh, I was going to say, you did uh, my favorite thing. Okay. You did flow. This, guys, is the key to creating a wow first impression. Yeah, if you are doing backsplashes like this, and you've got drywall above it or anything else above it, you're missing an opportunity mm -hmm. to do something so incredible, especially when you're using subway tile, which is, a, by and large, a more affordable yeah. tile. Just take it all the way up. She not only took it up, she's got it inside the window as well. So here's my secret. Oh, I my love kitchen. secrets. I know. I'm all about reusing things if you can. Yeah. These were the existing upper cabinets. My cabinet maker and I added a false top and he refinished all the doors and put all new doors and all new drawers in for me. And they and are amazing. Faces, just the faces. And face, just the faces. Yeah. yeah. So what you're saying is this cabinet box was, was here. It was here. And then he, you've got a lip on it, then he adds like a molding. So there's a compromise. Yeah. Tell us about your hood. This is one of my favorite hoods. I've used it in the past. I did this one in chrome. And, and a brushed, yeah. and, and brushed gold. Ah, look, she's got the silver and the gold yeah. in here. So yeah. there you go. That's what I think you need to make to mix your metals yeah. well is to have a piece, a focal point that incorporates both, both. colors in it, and then it works, which Voila. is the perfect right here. Take a look at this oven. I've never used this brand before, but I fell madly in love with it. It's a company called Blue Star, okay. and they started out as commercial kitchen application. 
uh, and got into residential. But what I love is they completely let me customize the, the colors. colors and the metal. So this was my inspiration for mixing the silvers and the golds uh -huh. because I got to pick a beautiful white enamel mm -hmm. for the face and then I decided to do the gold on the gold handles in here. and gold on the bezels. This is called mm -hmm. the bezel, the outer part. And then I went back to the stainless steel for the, the handles. And then I found the faucets from Waterstone that matched beautifully. Yeah, and then Waterstone's the hardware great. I had to find from another company. Isn't that yeah. pretty? Yeah. I love beautiful. Waterstone. Me too. Now this was the thing that I had noticed earlier. I hadn't seen that yet because it was hidden. But I mean, again, look at this wall oven. Oh, Is yeah. that amazing? That's enough to make me want to cook. So being, you know, a little bit on the short side. You think? Yeah. <laughs> I would always open my wall oven and burn my arm, or burn my oh, hand, pulling wow. my things out. So I never have to worry about that again. Because all I have to do is open it like that. That is so and cool. Pull, pull my cookies and all my lasagna. Yeah. Out. And 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 I can just oh, close this just with, close one it with one hand. Wow. Isn't that great? Isn't that pretty? Even the clock is cool. Isn't it? I can yeah. custom color the really? the front. Yeah. And I do love the pendant lights that you chose I to hang those. over this. I love those. They're yeah. so cute. Thanks. That ties in your white of your enamel here and your silver. I mean, it's just all connects. Do you love this kitchen? I Leave love. us a comment below and I let us know. So. Does Maria get like props for oh. designing an amazing, amazing kitchen? What okay. is this and Hold was it like this before? To this. Okay. For this. This, this is me. your favorite, like you, where you think your genius I really came through? That's my favorite, that's my favorite. I just love it all, but I think this really was a success and I'll okay. tell you why. Okay. So this was an existing, I guess you can call it butler pantry or a little area uh, yeah. where you put down your food before you hit your dining room. Right. But it was very tiny. It was only yeah. about three feet wide. Behind the original buffet area was a closet, and I thought, I don't want a closet in my family room. Right. Let's get rid of that. Yeah. I made this five feet wide now. Again, five feet. Everything's oh, five feet. Everything's five feet. Um, Including us. Yes. <laughs> yes. So this is all coffee. And um, you've got your floating shelf, so you've I tied know. that into your kitchen, and, and she's got the subway tile behind yes. all the way up. Yes. <laughs> And then what was over here? Okay, so this was a pantry and the pantry just had a, a door and it was a solid wood door with drywall. So I decided to have my iron worker make this all glass okay. and add the beautiful iron paint. I love this. Isn't it yeah, great? I did something very similar to this in the laundry room at the Cliff House and it's like one of my favorite areas. So, Again, your subway tile up. Yeah. And it looks like you have a fixture that's gonna be coming in. Yeah. Not here yet, should be. It should be. But all my messy things are down in here and I have some nice pullouts. So all of this is brand new. The, all of this yeah, is brand new. Yeah, yeah. And then I decided to run the, the same stone. stone. Yeah, all the way around and I use this as a little back cabinet. Um, and then I put in a little secret passage here for, you know, my big oh, heavy nice. mixers yes. and things like that were That's great. too heavy to, to yes. KitchenAid and, and right. so forth. You want some nuts and seed crunch? Job. No, I, I want mean, my lunch. It just oh. arrived. We're going to go really have good. lunch now. These are so good. Are oh they? God. Let's see. Healthy. No, not while we're in. Okay. Mm. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoy today's. <laughs> well, so wait. delicious. <laughs> mm. There's not peanuts in here, are there? Really? Allergic to peanuts? <laughs> Nut and seed. No. Pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and pecans. You made me spit that out when I could have swallowed? Mm. Good Lord. Let's go and check out your other wing to the house Let's now that go. you haven't killed me successfully <laughs> yet. Oh my God, you should have told me you're allergic. So what's this wing? Oh, this is the fun wing.
Oh my gosh. <gasps> Isn't it These fun? These are the best. Okay, so this was an office. And I thought, who needs an office this big? So I added the platform. Yeah. And so you I can raise them up. Found these really cool leather they sofas and are chairs. So cool. And I thought, let me make it sort of a hangout theater, quasi theater. And we actually do sit here with our laptops and do work. Oh, it's wow. just so comfortable. So you end up doing both. Yeah, yeah. So it's our sort of memorabilia room and hangout room. My my yeah. daughter plays her guitar in this room and it's I, just fun. I love the the old Hollywood prints that you have up here. I'm unbreakable, unshakable. Did you add this or was this part of the office? It was all part of the office. It was all here. The only thing I added was the platform and the decorative touches, the furniture, wow. uh, the paint. So even the coffer ceiling was here? Everything was here. Wow. How lucky. This house had great bones. It just had some really bad finishes. And I even like the, the actual wall-to-wall -wall carpeting you put in here. I was looking for something a little unusual, a little funky, a little yeah. different. I'll be right there. <laughs> you want one? Let's have one. Get your hands out of the candy jar. <laughs> beautiful. Isn't it pretty? Oh my god. Artists love oversized mural wallpaper. Don't tell anybody, but this was my most reasonable decision and purchase. Why? Because <laughs> I found it on Amazon. <laughs> you did? Yeah. <laughs> Ah, you did onyx, or is this a quartzite? It's Cristallo, which is a quartzite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, beautiful. I, I used this in other places in the house um, and, and lit it from the bottom, but um, I just thought it was so pretty. Did you keep the original van? I did. See, I but did. I bet it was wood stained before. Mm -hmm. It's really ugly. Well, when I decided to be cost efficient and keep the original vanity, I just put a bowl sink on top of it. Mm -hmm. So now this is the standard height. Mm -hmm. uh, normally vanity would be up here and your sink right. would be underneath. Mm -hmm. But I thought this was pretty and it kind of follows the shape of my flower. And look at this. What a cool, I've never isn't seen that it, one before. Cute? Yeah, it's super cute. And then you added new hardware to it. Yeah, I, I in areas where it's not a kitchen. I like to put the hardware in the center. I do too. It looks like a, a cabinet rather than a built-in. I think we are cut from the same cloth. We are. We think alike on these things. I think that she's done such a good job, even the wallpaper in here. Thank you. Because, get this, when you're going to do something like this here, what do you do on the rest of the walls? She could have kept it drywall and just painted it, but she put mm. in a texture that looks almost as though it's just painted because it's so nondescript. Right. So it's not fighting with that, exactly. but it's complimentary. Exactly. Like, yes. it's a compliment. You look lovely today. I do, thank you. You're welcome. See, it's nice when you have a compliment. Yes. Let's go on <laughs> to the next room. I have a surprise for you. What? <gasps> you know I like to reuse things. Yeah. Okay, so this beautiful door used to be the front door. What? Yes. That was what was there? That was what was there. So you just had to paint it and... Well, it, not, You had to make a bigger opening, right? Because well, that's interesting, wider. Because this wasn't the entry to the master bedroom. Oh. The entry to the master bedroom was down here. This is where the door used to be. Oh. Right? On an angle. Back here on an angle with two small double doors. Wow. And it looked very much like this closet over here. So if you're coming down the hall, you didn't really know if you were going into a closet. Right, because you got a closet here, you got yeah. one here. And you know, when you're going into a master, it needs to be wow factor. It looks like you're a housekeeper. She, isn't this great? She vacuumed and left a <laughs> pattern on it. Snow angels. Yeah, but that, don't you want to? I mean, come on. Let's see, I did I leave this a pattern? <laughs> no. A uh, little oh, bit. Well. And then you've got a pair of nightstands, you've got a pair of lamps, looks great. What 
is this? Oh, I bad. have never, ever seen a bed like this. This is mother of pearl. If you can actually see, there's sort of a circular pattern going on there. And um, at night, it really lights up beautifully. With oh, the I bet it lights. does. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Wow. The karate chop. <laughs> I'm glad that was meant for that. <laughs> Girl, you have a corner fireplace. Can you turn that on? I don't think so. <laughs> um, I just moved in here a month ago, and I don't know where the key She's is. She's only been in here a month. Only a month. <laughs> I know some of you who just moved into a place a month ago, and you're still living with boxes, oh. and you don't have a stitch of art on the wall, huh? Most people, I'm yeah. just neurotic, I guess. Yeah, well, it is <laughs> kind my of sisters. what we do for a living. <laughs> So these lovely ladies came out of my former home. And make a dress out of it? Yes. We love making dresses out of window treatment fabric. Okay. But it's interesting because it's it's in not quite thirds, but kind of in thirds. Mm -hmm. And you've got the, I'm assuming, the expensive material yes. in the center. You got it. This was very expensive. It's all embroidered, if you can yeah. see it up closely. You want it, but you can stretch it. Yeah. Plus, this whole thing being all that would be too, too much. Too much, right? I think so it, too. That's exactly what I was going to say because yeah. it's oh, you can almost overdo it. So I love the way this worked out. <gasps> Come on in. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! You did not. I did. This is oh. so pretty. And then you have the bifold door, so you've got that indoor outdoor thing going on. Oh, uh -huh. Your shower even is spectacular. Oh my gosh, and look at this. Such a. Do you remember this stuff? This is, is this the same one? From the last project. Oh, where we were what? in there you drinking sold that champagne. that house and you took the tub out before no, the people moved I just, in? I bought another one. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Beautiful. So we've already been in it. I guess we don't need to get in it again, although it's very tempting. Maybe later. Let's this. Oh, this, this is, is just. This is the same company as the dining room. Oh. And they came out with so such beautiful new items and I just had to have them. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. I even like this hammered little tulip table. Isn't it oh, cute? look. Yeah. Sorry, I and need to put that away. And a rolling oh, there you go. little thingy. I was hiding oh, yeah, things that so goes. you wouldn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I, had, I just had to. Roll over this way and say, hey, honey, are you ready? What are you wearing today? Because I want to match you. Or you could go this way and say, excuse me, I'll give you your privacy, but hey, you look great in the shower. There's another nozzle. I think I'll join you. So you've got the larger vanity over here with a place for you to sit and do makeup. Oh, and look at these little pendant lights. Oh, thank you, thank you. So cute. So you want to hear the story of this bathroom? Yes. Well, the, right here there was a platform tub, and it was a giant platform with a very old tub, and it took up so much space. And the beautiful bifold doors were just windows with lots of crisscrosses and panes in them. Yeah. So it was very small looking, busy, and just so tight. And then there was a wall right here. And so there, his vanity was there and the her vanity was opposite. So mm -hmm. can you imagine two vanities, a giant platform tub and a small window. And then where was the shower and the toilet? Oh, the shower was here in this little angled room, which oh. we made a new water closet. Yeah. And then the toilet was here. Okay. So now you turn this into a much larger shower. Yeah. yeah. Got rid of that wall. And made two water closets, a his and a hers. That is ideal. Yeah. That's how you stay married. It's great. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm thinking. It is amazing. Let's go out here and yeah, sit out here in great. this space. So you added this wall here for privacy yes. so that your neighbors can't see you. Yeah. I love the fact that you added those shelves. And what's really cool is how the finish on this matches the finish on the stone of the house. So the exterior color of the house was a rock that was very dark, 
uh, very dated. You didn't replace the stone. No, God, no. It would be very, very expensive to do that. Yeah. So we came up with this idea, our mason and, and I, to slurry coat over it. He made a mixture of sand and stucco and mixed it all up in big outdoor mixers and then just slurry coated it all over the rock. Hey, uh, from start to finish, how long was this project? Six months. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she doesn't believe me, but I'm telling you, ask my neighbors. Every day they would stand out there and shake their head. Who's in charge of this project? I can't believe how fast you're going. Well, you know, that's my East Coast Italian, you know. Driven blood. Driven blood. Yeah. And once again, ask my sisters. <laughs> <laughs> I personally want to thank you, Maria, yeah. for, I mean, I just love any time that I spend with her, of course. And there are not too many people in this world that think like I do. And I think she <laughs> thinks like I do and in many ways better. I mean, you guys, you can do it in six months. It would take me a year and a half to do a, a project this size. So thank kudos you. to you thank and you. thank you so thank much you for so much. graciously inviting my of audience course. in. Of course. Don't you guys love her? Anytime. She is so talented and so good. Let me know what your favorite room is in the house. What were you most impressed with? Did you learn something? I mean, there were some really creative ideas in here. Things that she did, cladding over that fireplace, turning a piece of unused art into a, a table tray. So you're great. Well, you're thank amazing. Thank you so much. And I have another little secret for you. What? Um, we actually just purchased another property that we're going to turn into another flipper. And I had goosebumps. Do you? Yes. It's so cool and okay. so different. Leave us a comment below and let us know, do you want to see the next flip house that Maria has in mind? I mean, is it, is it in construction phase oh, or what phase are you in? It's being torn up right now. So Fun. how big is it? It's giant. It's about um, eight or 9,000 square feet. It's just great. Okay. You don't have to tell me how much you spent, but was it more than what you spent for the last flip yes. house? Oh. Yes. But the significantly up, more? Yes, and the upside potential, I think, is significantly more. So Can you imagine? Hope it's not a flip-flop. Ah, <laughs> oh, there you go. It sounds like it's going to be fun. Is it in this area? Yes, Well, it, it is. must be if it's yes. in that price range. Yes, it is. These I can't guys? wait to show you. All right, you guys, I will see you next time. Leave us a comment below. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. We love it when you join us, and we love to hear from you. And don't forget, we have something, an online library of resources for you mm. called the Design Sessions. Right. And that's where I teach you all of the principles that you just observed today and all the other things that I've been doing in my practice for the last 35 years. So it's a great place to be. Yes. It's amazing. It's not on YouTube. It is on my website and we do have an app. There is a, a link in the description box below. All right. Sounds hey, good. Ready? Okay. Where's the champagne? Oh, let's get okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Come you on. get on that, Maria. Okay. I'll get on that. All right, you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I just had landscapers here. I could have had them lift this thing. Got yeah, it. yeah. Was he videoing me doing this? No. Yeah, I could send uh, this video to your chiropractor. <laughs> oh, so he'll know exactly what to address. The, I mean, I, okay. No, I still need to turn it. Stop Sorry. moving landscaping. <laughs> no, maybe by the sofa at the bottom. Oh, here she comes. Okay. okay. I have to give you credit for always having the right size bottles of <laughs> wine. Baby. Ah, your hands are so cold. What are you doing back there? I'm unwiring God. her. She's not used to this, so I was helping. God. Wait, wait, you gotta unplug it here, mm -hmm. and then you gotta fish it down through the girls. It's a lot of work being you. I know. <laughs>